All right. So I'm going to tell you the difference between like and love. This is Yeshua Amun Ra speaking. It is not motherfucking Marie Laveau. So I'm going to tell you. There is a huge difference between each other. I knew this in my lifetime as Jimi Hendrix. Okay. I'm really not lying to you. In this lifetime... This is where I motherfucking learn the most, especially as motherfucking Black Kermit in my other lifetime, okay? So, um, and you know, I'm gonna tell you it quick because this is just, you know, I'm just being real motherfucking honest with you. Why is my solar plexus acting up like a motherfucker? Okay, my brother, Earth Body, I, you need a motherfucking, he's still healing. I'm not being a motherfucking dick, but you know, keep healing your solar plexus, brother, you, you okay. But, anyways, um, <laughs> I learned this lifetime a lot with women, okay? Because here's the thing is that I was famous as a motherfucker, okay? And so I had to watch my back a lot of the motherfucking times, okay? You know, this is where I became really motherfucking analytical in this motherfucking lifetime is because I was thinking, well, you know, I'm a fucking really motherfucking talented but, you know, I gotta be motherfucking careful who I'm fucking with. Because they could fucking screw me any day, do whatever. It don't matter if it's a pretty cute thing. She could do fucking some destructive shit. And so, there was this, um, this woman, she was really cute. All the women that I dated were cute. But this woman, you know, I don't know. She was a really cute blonde one. She was really adorable. Um... This was before I met Mary. And she seemed really okay. But the thing is, is um, she, she was a painter. She was really neat. She was cool to hang out with. And, you know, I really liked her a lot. Um, you know, we had a lot of things in common. It's just, um, and we would have a lot of sex and stuff. But, um, I'll be honest with you. I just liked her. Like, I didn't really, when I looked into it, like, I didn't, I didn't really feel a certain way, okay? Because I think that, I don't know, I had a hard time thinking about what love meant to me, but I don't know, during that time, I was thinking, like, because I was with her for, like, about three or four years, I'm not lying to you, I was with her for a long time, and, you know, if you, if you look up Jimi Hendrix's girlfriend, my, my past life, you will see that I dated her, she's a blonde girl, um, pale woman she's real she's real nice but like i don't know like i don't know what i was doing throughout those years like i don't know she was really physically attractive but then like i don't know there was some times where i couldn't get along with her i couldn't really coexist with her because i don't know there was just something that wasn't there and so um for years we was going out with like a fucking battle throughout the years like um a court battle because i married her and that, that that's like yeah and so i just got to a point to where i realized i didn't motherfucking love her i really motherfucking didn't and so i just realized i liked her i married her because i liked her it was kind of weird and so um after I was going through that divorce and I was healing like years back, um, like I said, I just realized I liked her. Like I thought that that's the difference between, this is on the like part, right? I'm just telling my story to get my point through. And so, yeah, I, I just realized I just really liked her. I liked the idea that she was a painter. She made a lot of money off of it. I thought that was really cute. And you know, I thought she was really smart in her own ways and really spiritual, but like there was something missing in that lifetime for me there was something like I don't know like she was pretty and she was everything to me but like there was like there's always that one part where like she got everything going on but there's something that's motherfucking missing and one of them was that she was just really she didn't really have a heart like she did have it like she did okay no I'm not gonna lie she had a good heart but the thing is is like she was really materialistic like she was mostly about giving to herself giving to other things like you know and there's nothing wrong with that brother but like i didn't really like that like yeah that's cool she was a painter she did all that shit but like i didn't see that she was doing something that was 
in alignment with Jesus, like in the Lord. Because to me, that's important. Like when you're giving, that that's an important thing. Like when I see you giving to humanity, that's when like, that's definitely true love for me. But um, I didn't see that in her. And so that's what made me kind of go away is because she was kind of very, you know, she was beautiful and all that, but she was kind of like, you know, kind of one of those very prissy Beverly Hills woman. And so, um, you know, I, I liked her, but I didn't love her. It was weird, but I married her because I liked her. That's what I realized. And so later on in, my, on in my life, she did cheat on me. She did motherfucking a bunch of bad motherfucking shit. And so I knew it was just destined for me to not be with her. And so anyways, um, later on in my life, I met Mary. Um, this was when I was like about 34. They say that I died when I was younger, but no, I was, um, I was still around. Okay, that was just not documented. But no, so when I was about 34, 35, um, I met Miss Mary. And, um, Miss Mary, she was a really nice woman. Um, she, she ran a, a magic shop in that past life. And um, she, she did a clothing business too. She was really, really smart. And um, I thought she was about that too because she was pretty. And I was like, eh, like, I don't know if she's, like she's cute. Cause that's what I was saying is I was afraid that I would fall into the same trap like as I did with that blonde woman. And I was like, you know, she's cute, but I don't know. I have to take time to analyze. I really don't know. Um, but anyways, um, I think when I really fell in love with her is when I was having a really hard time in my life. Um, and so I, I didn't tell anybody, but like, you know, I was needing some help with a certain situation in my life. And, um, Mary, she helped me out. I didn't mention that. Okay. When I knew Mary, she helped me out with something like I was very passionate about what I was doing in my life and I felt like I was feeling really down I was like really down in the dumps I was like kind of wanted to like feel suicidal and so I saw that Mary she she helped me out she gave me some money like just out of random like out of the blue um because we were friends okay that's another thing I mean we were just casually talking and so she um she gave to me and, um, you know, I don't really understand. Hold on. Probably got one of the brothers bothering me. But anyways, like, I, I didn't understand at first. Because I was saying, you know. So, you know, oh, so she's. I don't know. I was just a little shocked. Because I was. And so that's when I really loved Mary. Is, um. I don't know. I was going through a really, really hard time. Severe patch in my life. And. I don't know what it was, but when I saw Mary help me out, like, she didn't have to do that first and foremost, but like, I don't know, I felt that there was something very light about her. Like, yes, I knew before, right? But like, when I physically saw that, that's when I was like, oh, wow, like, she's actually not a greedy person. And the amount she gave me, I could tell that she really wasn't a greedy person. She was a very giving person. So, so yeah, and that's when I really fell in love with her. That's the first time I fell in love. Um, so I was already in love with her, but I wasn't for sure. I wasn't for sure. But that's the time of when I really knew. I knew that she was the right one for me. So, brothers, what you could take from the story is that, yeah, you could like a person. And you'll think they're sexy and shit. But the thing is, is that it's a huge difference. Like and love are two very different things. The reason why I fell in love with Mary is because, and why how I knew she was my forever soulmate, you know, twin flame, whatever we want to call it, is her heart was in the right place. So yeah, understand the difference.